Welcome to Module 7 of Using Educational Technology in the English Language Classroom. I'm Carol Chappelle, and I'll be doing the lecture for this module on Technology for Teaching Speaking. In the lecture this week, I'll start by talking about the connection between technology and talk today. We'll then meet our expert on speaking, Professor John Levis. We'll ask him why speaking is important for students and what teachers need to know about speaking. We'll also ask him for advice that he has for teachers and look at how technology can help. New technologies have provided new ways for people to connect with each other, and part of the connection is maintained through oral language. These technologies also give teachers new opportunities for engaging students in oral conversation, as well as pronunciation practice. We'll start by looking at two examples of the new opportunities for speaking practice that we find on the internet, pronunciation tools and opportunities to connect. Youglish is a website that you can find on the internet that allows students to type in something that they would like to say, but don't know how to pronounce. They can type it in and the website will find some examples of video where people are saying that exact expression. So, for example, if a student types in, how's it going? Youglish will respond with a video where, how's it going, appears in the stream of speech. This is a very sophisticated kind of context-embedded text-to-speech technology. Students often know how something looks on the page, but in order to actually use a word or an expression in their own speech, they need some help. They need the computer to provide them with an example of how to pronounce the expression. These examples for students, regardless of where they live, are abundant. The Internet also amazingly provides lots of opportunities for speakers to connect with one another in different locations. So just like the telephone was an amazing tool of the past, the Internet, with applications like Skype, is the amazing application of the current day. Students can not only speak to each other, but they can see each other in a kind of face-to-face -face communication via distance. It's time to meet our expert on oral communication, Professor John Levis. Professor Levis researches oral communication in English. He has taught English speaking at the University of Illinois, where he learned effective methods for teaching speaking. He studied a lot about how spoken language works and the role of speakers' accents in their pronunciation and their intelligibility. I asked Professor Levis how he became interested in oral language, and this is what he said. 